I'm gonna show you how to tie a knot that is really good for attaching a fluorocarbon leader to a braided main line. It's kind of a technique that's become pretty popular the last few years, especially in the freshwater. Um, most of the time I like to do it with 20 pound or less braid and I attach it to 6 to 10 pound fluorocarbon, just depending on what I'm doing. It'll be different for everybody um, depending on what species of fish or what type of fishing they're doing. But for the purpose of this video, I'm using 50 pound E Poseidon braid and I'm attaching that to this is 20 pound sunline fluorocarbon. This knot's called the Alberto knot. It's a super strong knot, very small and compact. The first thing you do is you take your braid leader and you're going to fold it over to make a loop like this. And then you're going to take your braid, this will be your main line. You're going to bring it up through the loop that you made. Give yourself plenty of line to work with here. Okay, so you got it through your loop. Then I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to pinch everything here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take the braid and you're going to wrap it down and around the fluorocarbon seven times. Going from right to left. So one. Then you're going to go back the other direction from left to right seven more times over everything. So I like to pinch it with my left hand here and go back over one, two, three. Okay. And once I've gone seven times, go back through the loop. Same direction. All right. And this is what you're left with. Now you're ready to pull everything tight. The cool thing about this knot is the harder you pull, the more you pull, the tighter the knot becomes. It's kind of like a like a Chinese finger trap almost. So just pull everything down. And it kind of helps if you kind of work it with your fingers a little bit just to make sure everything's even and uniform. But you can just really cinch this down tight. You don't have to worry about it. And sometimes I like to just kind of pull it apart, back it off a little bit with my fingers just to get everything flat and even. I don't think it necessarily affects the strength of the knot if everything isn't, but it just makes it look better and I think it goes through the guides easier. So I'll work it with my fingers, pull, and then what you're going to do is you're going to trim your tag ends. And you can get these extremely close. It's another nice thing about this knot. All right, so this is your finished product. I didn't trim that one very close. I can trim it even closer, but it's extremely strong and super small and compact so it's going to go through your guides real easy. The cool thing about it is the fluorocarbon is inside the braid so you're not going to have to worry about your fluorocarbon hitting the guides and breaking. Just super strong knot, super reliable. It takes a little bit of practice but once you've done it a few times it really isn't that bad. And this is a knot that I can fish with all day long. I'm not, I don't have to worry about retying it. It's super, I'm very, very confident in this knot. A lot of people use it, but just a good knot. It really 
is pretty fast to do and once you do it once I mean you're good to go for the day you don't need to worry about it but just a tip that I think people could uh, really benefit from so hopefully you learn something thanks